A linear equation is anything of the form ax plus by is equal to c, and a, b, and c just represent some constants. Our goal is to, well, if I'm given, let's say, y equals negative 2x minus 4, what does its equation look like in the xy plane? So we need a plane this time because there's two variables. There is both an x-axis and a y-axis. So to sketch y minus 2x equals negative 4, a very standard way to do this is to take your equation and solve it for y. We can do this by adding 2x to both sides. We're left with y on the left, and we have 2x minus 4 on the right. We can then set up a table, choose a couple of values for x, solve for the corresponding values for y, and then plot those points. So it doesn't matter what x values you choose. I'm going to pick, um, I don't know, maybe negative 2, 0, positive 2, just a couple, just to you know give us a general idea of this graph. For, let's say, negative 2, y is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 4. So that is negative 4 minus 4. That simplifies to negative 8. Okay? Then for 0, okay, y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 4. That's just 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. And then for positive 2, y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 4. So y is equal to 4 minus 4. That is 0. So here are three points that we can plot in the xy plane. So let's start with this one here. All right, so for negative 2, negative 8, that means starting at 0, 0, I go 2 to the left for x, down 8 for y. And there's my point. I'll mark it. That is negative 2, negative 8. OK, next, I have 0, negative 4. I start at 0, 0. Oh, I don't move left or right because the x value is 0. But I do go down 4 places to negative 4 for y. So that's 0, negative 4. And then the last point is 2, comma 0. All right, so starting at 0, 0, I go 2 to the right. I don't go up or down for y, and this is 2, comma 0. The linear equation is the graph that goes through these points. So again, this is just a general sketch. But what this is saying is everything that lies on this graph is a solution to this equation. It has both an x and a y, so we have to draw it in the xy plane. Maybe just a couple of other uh, terms. This spot here and this one as well are important. That's where the graph is crossing the x and the y axis. So we call this spot the x-intercept, just abbreviated x-int. So that was the point 2, comma 0. And this spot here, where it crosses the y axis, I'll just abbreviate the y-intercept. And that was 0, negative 4. So just a couple of features on this graph. But this is a good strategy where take your equation, which was of this form, solve it for y, and just get as many points as you need to get a general sketch of the graph. And typically, just two points is enough. And that is it for this first part. So I want to do the same thing here where I'm going to graph the equation y plus x equals 5. And this one, very easy to solve it for y. So we have y plus x is 5. And if we take just x from both sides, we get y is equal to, I'll write it as negative x plus 5. And this time, I'm just going to use two points to get my sketch. All right, so let's see. I can, like I said, use anything that I like. Um, maybe I'll use negative 3 and positive 4. For these two values, if I put negative 3 in place of x, 
the negative times a negative is a positive, and so this is a y value of 8. For positive 4, I get negative 4 plus 5, that's just 1, so here are a couple of values. I have negative 3, positive 8, which is right here, and 4, positive 1. And once you have two points, I mean, that's it. This must be a line, so I'll just draw the graph that goes between these. And this is a sketch of my equation. Another strategy for graphing a linear equation is to use the intercepts to get your graph. So here we have 2y minus 3x is equal to 6. And it wouldn't be very hard to solve this one for y, but I see there's a number in front of the y here, meaning at some point you're going to have to divide by 2. I'm guessing there might be a fraction or something that appears in my answer. So let's not solve this one for y, taking a different approach using the intercepts. So I'm going to start with, um, let's use the x-intercept. So that's the place where the graph crosses over this, the x-axis. The thing to point out is, if you are on this axis, since you didn't go up and you didn't go down, the y value must be 0. So I'm going to write that next to it here. y is equal to 0. That is true for any x-intercept. Well, if you have an equation, and this uh, one is 2y minus 3, x is equal to 6, you can put y equals 0, and this whole piece just cancels. So I'll write it out, but that's 2 times 0 minus 3x is 6, or negative 3x is 6. And once you see how that works, you can just go back here and say, oh, if I want the x-intercept, just cancel this piece, and it leaves me with this equation left over. That's negative 3x is equal to 6, so therefore if I divide both sides by negative 3, I get x is equal to negative 2. I mean, that's a point. That is the point x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 0. It's very simple to graph this. It's right here. But you need one other point to graph your line, so now I'm going to use the y-intercept. That's the place where it's crossing over the y-axis. So here's my y-axis. The thing to point out is the x value is always 0. So if you're on the y-axis, x must be 0. If you go to your original equation, that's now going to cancel this negative 3x part. I think I'll just put that in here. We have 2y minus 3 times 0 is equal to 6. It simplifies to 2y is 6. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me that y is equal to 3. And again, this is a point. That's a point x is 0 and y is 3. So it's always of the form x comma y. So let's see. That means I'm located right here. 0 for x, 3 for y. And that's enough. I know whatever the line is, it has to go through those two points. So it's worth considering, if you look at an equation, what's easier? Solving it for y, maybe just making either x or y 0, and solving for the corresponding values is nice too. It just so happened that in this one, okay, the other side was 6. Both 2 and 3 go into 6, so that's why the numbers came out nicely in this example, but this is the sketch of my graph.